Hey guys, I found a way to run the Flux Image Generator even if you have a low power PC. The Black Forest Labs Flux 1 is an image generator which actually has really amazing results. So I wanted to try it and I first tried it with Pinocchio, discovered that uh, my first attempt with Flux Web UI ran out of memory and wasn't able to run it. Then I tried Forge, but actually installing that is quite slow. I think it might work, but uh, I expect it to be a bit slow. So I tried to find different alternatives. And what I ran into is Mimic PC. So this is a way to use uh, cloud GPUs. And this is actually quite inexpensive and it has many popular image generating apps uh, available in kind of pre-built. It's a bit like running a virtual machine, but it's all on the cloud and it's super fast to start using it. So I'm going to show you how it works. There's a, a free launch button, which you can use, but I'll try to find you um, a link which will give you more credits if you just go with the free launch it'll get like uh, 0 0.49 dollars which is enough for one hour of usage or something like that but if i find a link i'll leave it in the description so go ahead and check out that because you might get some more credits so i already uh, signed up uh, just using my google account and here I'm logged in into the account and just, uh, well, I got that um, 0 0.49 credits and I have used up a few cents. So it's um, as easy as just clicking on add new app. Okay, I'm actually already on that page. I tried already Comfy UI, uh, so that's in my apps, but add new app and if you want to try Flux, then Comfy UI is the option which you can do that with here. Let's create a new environment here. You can select the version. I really don't know what's the difference in these diff versions, but let's try the version 0 0.03. And uh, here you can select the hardware. So this medium. This gives you a T4 GPU with 16 gigabytes of VRAM. That's very much sufficient for this. You could also go with these other options, um, which give you even uh, more GPU power, but they cost more per hour. But let's select the medium option for now. And let's just change that to 10 minutes and it will stop after that. And if you stop it earlier, you will get refunded into the balance for the credits you didn't use. So then it, let's hit create and start. And it's setting up this uh, machine for us to use. The setup time doesn't cost anything. It says it takes 30 seconds to two minutes. I'll just pause the video for a moment. Okay, that was very fast and now we have the environment launched and we have used like 15 seconds of that 10 minutes I gave to it. This kind of looks complex, this workflow, but it really is, is not. You don't need to change anything if you don't want to. You can just change the prompt and then click on Q prompt to generate images. Here you select the size, by default you have here 512 times 512 pixels, so let's go with that. And this um, prompt of what you want, beautiful scenery, nature, glass bottle, landscape, purple galaxy bottle. This, I just tried it previously and it actually works quite nicely. So let's just leave the default prompt and, and understand that this is what you don't want. You don't want text or watermarks in here, but and just edit the prompt here. And then let's click on Q prompt and it will start working. And I think the first time might take 
a few seconds longer, but it really, I, I didn't pause the video or anything like that, so it's it's really quite fast. And, and here we have the image it generated, and it looks fairly nice already just like this. And if we want to generate a few more with the same prompt, we will get different results. We can hit the Q prompt a couple of times, and these images pop up really quickly in here. And we, we get quite nice images, and we can maybe try... Maybe let's change that to... Uh, uh, dog with um, dark hair. Let's see what, what happens with that. And let's cue the prompt. And it generated us a image with the, the dog with dark hair and it look, looks fairly nice. Let's let's try one more. It's kind of fun also that you can kind of see as it's working on the image and here we have a different kind of dog. Maybe maybe the head's not looking fully natural, but you can play around with this. And if you want to try flux, I think this is the easiest way to uh, get started. And this Mimic PC seems to be a very handy tool for this. If you want to download the the images from here, uh, you you can do that easily. So here on the right hand side in the output folder you will have the images which you generated and you can select all and and press the download button here. Oh sorry that was the upload button. Under the three dots you will have a download button and you can download the images and we can see that they have been downloaded. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.